four. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. <coughs> testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four.
two three four. Testing one two three four. Testing one two three four. Testing 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 one two three four. Testing testing one two three four. Katie, 1895 versus the Coyotes FC. Katie, 1895 FC versus Coyotes FC. Testing one, two, three, four. 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 British International School of Houston. KD 1895 FC versus Coyotes FC.
Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the British International School of Houston as we are here for soccer between Katy 1895 FC and the Coyotes FC as it is a sunny and overcast day in the Houston area and we are ready for some semi-pro league soccer as both teams are at their respective benches and in just about a few minutes we will be underway for the game you're on Vibe Fly presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors here on the British International School of Houston. Game about to be underway between the KD 1895 versus the Coyotes FC. As both teams giving each other fist bumps. KD 1895 in red and the Coyotes in white. And we are about to be underway here in KD Texas. Officials in midfield. With both teams on each side. And here's the coin flip. And it looks like the ball will be in favor of Katie, 1895.
the officials discussing the rules to each team, both of the captains. And we are ready for some MPSL soccer. And both teams getting lined up. Each goalie at their net. As both teams are lined up. And it looks like the Coyotes will kick. We are underway here in Katy, Texas. Katy 1895 versus the Coyotes FC. And slowly bringing it back up to the field, back to the goalie. And out of bounds. Ball in favor of Katie 1895. And number two has it, kicks it more down the field. High kick towards the goalie, caught. And he'll roll it back in. And the ball gets close to midfield. And ball at midfield. Coyotes gaining ground. And it's going to be a change of possession. And in favor of Katie, 1895. Now it's up in the air. And Coyotes bringing it back down the field in their territory. Ball to the right side of the field now. Gets it back near the box. And it gets across midfield out of bounds. And Coyotes with the ball. Right side of the field. Right at midfield, this one's going to go all the way down to the left side. And inside within the box, kicks it backwards. And backwards again, back to midfield. This midfield 
back in Katy 1895 territory. Master Goldie ha has it and will kick it back into play. And out of bounds in favor of the Coyotes. Around midfield, Coyotes get it back. And it's going to kick it backwards towards the goalie. And back cross midfield to the right side. KD 1895 gets it back. And Coyotes almost stole that one. And really digging for the ball. Keeps it in play. And driving down the field is the Coyotes. Ball to the right side. Down the middle inside the box and back in possession of KD1895. As that's number seven, Rashad Dodds with the ball. Back to Dodds. To Coburn. And ball back in possession of the Coyotes FC. Down to the left corner of the box and a player is down. And that's the ball will be back in favor of KD1895. Thirty-nine minutes left here in the first half. All tied up at nil-nil. On your win you with the ball down the field and back to the Coyotes goalie. Gets back in bounds. And right back near midfield, right at the British International logo. And it kicks this one way down the field. And gets it around one of the KD 1895 defenders, and KD gets it back. And Coyote's going to kick it back to their goalie. Taking one man down the midfield, beats a couple, and down the field, back in possession of Katie. And a few of these players really scrapping for the ball. And take this down one back across midfield, and Coyote's territory. Players fall. Possession in favor of Coyotes. Right at midfield. And Katie will kick it back to her goalie. And will reset play. Here come the Coyotes right out the middle and blocked by Katie. And driving down the field, a couple man the beat and the goalie. Little cross move. 
Okay, he's still in possession. And a coyote side of the field. And trying to scramble for the ball and possession back in favor of the Coyotes. Thizy backs. And this ball will go out of bounds. And in favor of KD1895. With the score still nil on both sides with 35 minutes left in the first half. And a little tussle right there, ball out of bounds, back in favor of the Coyotes. And so kick this one in from the side. And possession back in favor of 1895. Coyotes with the ball. Gets it to number 20 on the right side. Number 10 with the ball. Goes to the left side. Ball batted in the air. And out of bounds in favor of the Coyotes. Coyote's going to bring it back to their side of the field. And it's going to kick this one down the middle. Here's number 10 on the right side. And Katie's just going to kick it out of bounds. And Paul will still be in favor of the Coyotes. As he'll throw it back in, number 24 with the ball. Backwards to number 4. And kicks this one deep in the left side of the field. And that's going to go out of bounds in favor of KD1895. And so far, pretty strong defense so far in this game from both sides. About 14 minutes into this game, and still no score. As we're about to reach the 30 minute mark here in the first half. As balls at midfield. Back on Katie's side of the field. And a Coyote's gonna bring it back. And kick far to the right side, 1v1. Back in favor of Katie. And Katie gets it back. And Paul back in favor of the Coyotes. Backwards and out of bounds, and ball still in favor of the Coyotes. Ball back in bounds, kicks it backwards. Coyotes resetting on offense. Ball on the right side. Just 
outside of the box and towards the goalie and able to save it on a soft kick ball. Ball in possession of KD 1895 at midfield near the logo. And here comes KD driving down the field and knocked down on the ground. As we knocked down on the play. Here comes Katie on the outer side of the box. Ball is deflected. And in favor of the Coyotes on Katie's side of the field. Now back in Coyote territory. And the Coyotes will once again reset. As we're under 30 minutes left here in the first half. Game still tied up at nil. And that ball's gonna go out of bounds. And ball in favor of Katie 1895. On the left side of the field, in possession of the Coyotes. And down the middle of the field at the logo. And it's going to kick it to the left side to number 11. And so on the right side, inside the box, he shoots and just outside the goal. And it'll be ball back in possession of KD 1895. And a little short kick. KD trying to get it to the Coyote side of the field. And the Coyotes got close to a few goals but a couple soft kicks and a save by K KD1895 and his last shot just a minute ago was a little bit better of a shot but just outside and Paul in possession of the Coyotes Inside the box, headbutt over the goal, and back in possession of K1895. Another close one for the Coyotes, but just over the crossbar. As Felipe Latour will kick this one back out for 1895. Coyotes get it back. Right side of the field. And reset back at the goalie. midfield here come the Coyotes and number 10 on the right side has a little bit of an opening right outside the box going one-on-one -on -one. 
And here's the upper kick off the crossbar. KD 1895 kicks it back. And number 24 falls down. Here comes KD 1895. As that previous shot was just off the crossbar on the top side. And here comes Katie, 1895, down the field. And Coyote territory. Number two has it. To number seven, that's Dobbs. And to the left side and just right of the goal. And possession will go towards the Coyotes. And a couple of close calls on both sides. That's the last one for the Coyotes. Just hit the top of the crossbar. And that shot for 1895. Just missed the right side. And here come the Coyotes down the field. And Katie Territory. Ball on the left side. And back to number 10. A little bit of an opening and some room. Oh, a little crossover right there. He passes it back to number 24. And he'll get it back. And here's a kick to number 20. Has a little bit of an opening, but KD 1895 able to kick it back. As Dodge has the ball. And gets it back. Here's number 2, Latour. 1895 down the field and back to the Coyotes and Coyotes FC will reset comes Coyotes. One versus one, but KD1895 kicks it out of bounds. And ball in favor of KD, or excuse me, Coyotes FC. As goalie for KD FC is Brandon Padilla. kick middle of the box. Coyotes retain the ball. Here's number 23 inside the box and he's going to try to score and just outside to the right side. And I believe Katie 1895 kicked that one out. And the Coyotes, Coyotes will try to get another shot here. And here's a kick inside the box. And Katie gets a hold of it. Cody skip one back inside the box. And right down the middle and saved by the goalie. And he'll kick that one back out. And here comes Katie, 1895, down the field. Staying on his feet. Putting a couple moves on the defender and kicks that one away over the crossbar and all the way to the fence outside the track. And with 20 minutes left, we're all tied up at nil-nil. Coyotes in possession. And down the field. And ball kicks backwards. 
and out of bounds and I believe in favor of the Coyotes and a couple of players fall and ball in favor of the Coyotes as one of the players fell down got tripped the left side of the field. Kicks it inside the box. And Coyote still in possession. Kicks it back outside. Now on the left side of the field. Down the middle. A little scramble for the ball. And here's the kick to the goal just outside to the left side. Ball back in favor of Katie, 1895. Asmodea will kick this one back into play. And ball in the air, midfield. In possession of the Coyotes. And back on the Coyote side of the field. Coyotes will reset back on their side of the field and kicks across the Katy territory and Katy 1895 gets it back and only a couple instances where we saw Katy get close to the Coyote goal as balls at midfield in possession of the Coyotes Balls loosen out of bounds. KD in possession. And Cody territory as one of the KD players fall to the ground. Got tripped. And Paul will be in possession of KD. And down the middle inside the box as the Coyotes goalie will put it back into play. And right back to the goalie. And right to midfield. And Coyote will reset once again. And gonna kick this one way down the field. And here come the Coyotes. Has a little bit of an opening. Here's a shoot, and he scores. But there's a call on the field, and it looks like the goal will not count. As one of the players was knocked down. As the call will be offsides. And going to kick it back to midfield. Back in Coyote territory. Katie's side of the field. Coyotes still have it. Kicks it to the left side. And that's going to go stay inbounds, actually. And here come the Coyotes. Middle of the field. 
to right side. Number 10 has it. Getting through a couple KD defenders and gets knocked down. And ball in favor of the Coyotes. And 15 minutes left here in the first half. And number 18 will kick it to the middle of the box. And here's the kick. And gets past everybody. And that's just going to go out of bounds in favor of KD1895. And throws it up in the middle. Ball in possession of KD1895. And haven't seen him on the Coyote side of the field for a while. And down the field, to the left side. Coyotes have it. And they're going to say he's out. And ball in possession of Katie, 1895. The head bounce in the air. And both teams trying to fight for the ball. Midfield. And here comes Katie 1895, but ball out of bounds. And in favor of the Coyotes. And ball in possession of the Coyotes in white. KD 1895 in a red and out of bounds back in favor of KD 1895. And number 13 hardware throwing it in. And number 7 Dodds with the ball. And right at midfield to the left side in county territory. about to reach the 10 minute mark here in the first half. And down the field, Coyotes have numbers inside the box. And Coyotes trying to set up for eventually stolen by KD1895 and bounced back by the Coyotes. And here's a shoot deflected inside the box by Katie Defenders. And Coyote's trying to regain the ball. Reset position, but bounce back by Katie. Here come the Coyotes down the middle. And bounce back by Katie. And out of bounds in favor of Coyotes. Possession for the Coyotes. Number 20 on the right side of the field. And Katie gets it back and it's Dobbs with the ball. And Coyotes have numbers. One on one. Here's a kick. And it is saved by 1895. 
What a block. Pre prevent the ball from scoring. And a little bit of pause on play as ball will be in favor, 18.95. As Padilla will kick this one out. And with 10 minutes left in the first half, still all tied up at nil-nil. And ball in favor of Katie. Dodds tried to get there, but Coyotes regained possession. And number 10 on the right side of the field. And ball still in play, but called out of bounds in favor of Katie, 1895. coming down the field and having a trouble get it into Coyote territory and we've only seen a couple times where Katie got close to the goal and I believe the closest call to a score today was the head punch into the crossbar favor to Coyotes but score remains nil nil and here's the kick Katie still has it Coyotes have some numbers right side of the field and it'll reset. Gonna kick it all the way to the left side of the field just outside the box. And back in possession of Katie. And all the way down the field back in favor of the Coyotes but Eventually got knocked down, but back in favor of Coyotes FC. And Coyote territory. And Dodds knocked down. As Paul will be back in favor of Katie. Ball at midfield. And down the middle to double coverage by the Coyotes. Katie trying to get the ball inside the box. And out of bounds. And still in favor of Katie. Man, here's the kick. And this one's going to be close. And that's going to be a score for Katie 1895. And they'll take a 1-0 lead. First goal of the game with just under six minutes left before halftime. And Katie strikes first. And hard to tell who got credit for the goal. But it's 1-0 Katie. 5.59 left here in the first half. And 
Coyotes with the possession. Number 10, number 18, fighting for that ball against Katie and Coyotes. And this one's on the right side and back across the field. And going to kick it to the right side inside the box. And Katie saves it. And trying to get back to midfield. And ball in possession of the Coyotes. Comes Coyote down the field. And Katie 1895. Able to keep it in bounds. Coyote's reset. Here's a kick to the right side of the field. And number 10 on the right side, and Katie kicks it out of bounds and in favor of the Coyotes. About four and a half minutes left till halftime. And Coyote's trying to set up. Ball goes to the far left side of the box. And that's going to go out of bounds. Back in favor of the Coyotes. Kick from the right corner of the field. And right down the middle. Head butts it in and saved by Katie. Able to block it with the head. Here comes Katie at midfield on the left side. And stolen by the Coyotes. Number 10 at midfield. And ball back in possession of Katie. Here comes the Coyotes. Ball still in bounds on the left side, back in the box, or deflected by Katie. Here comes Katie down the field. And they're going to slow it down. Although the Coyote defenders not moving away. And the goalie for Katie going to kick it back out to midfield. Here's a scramble for the ball. And the player will be knocked down. And ball back in favor of the Coyotes. And we are two and a half minutes away from halftime as Katie leads it 1-0. Here on the campus of British International School of Houston, here in Katy, Texas. And here's the kick from the Coyotes inside the box. And saved by Katy. As that ball is way to the left. Padilla going to kick this one across the field, the Coyote territory, and back to the Coyote goalie. Number four with it, back to the goalie. And we're about a minute and a half till halftime. Back across the field in the Katy territory. And here comes the Coyotes. And Katy gonna save it once again. Another block by Padilla. And now under a minute left here in the first half. And Padilla taking his time to kick this one out. Back in the Coyote territory. 
in possession of Katie. Trying to fake out the defender, and he does. Katie going down the field, just outside the box, down the middle, and he trips. And one of the Katie players knocked down, but able to get back up. And just 20 seconds away from halftime. And Padilla just going to take his time to bring this one out. And Padilla trying to get some room. Here's the kick. This one's high. And that's the end of the first half. As Katie leads it 1-0. And I guess to the officials, there's still some time on the clock, a little extra time. And ball out of bounds in favor of the Coyotes. And still no whistle for yet for halftime. Here's number 20 on the right side. Try to get it past Dodds. And Dodds gets it back while on the ground. And it'll be in favor of Katie. And it's officially halftime here in Katie, Texas at the British International School of Houston. As Katie 1895 leads it 1-0. And we'll take a break here on Fight Fly, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, as we'll bring you back some more action for the second half, coming up later.
And welcome back to the British International School of Houston. As KD1895 leads it 1-0 over to Coyotes FC. As we're about to start the second half in just a few minutes. As it's been pretty good defensive, defensively on both sides for each team. For KD FC finally was able to break the scoring streak for the first goal of the game as they lead it 1-0 with both teams back on the field and ready for the second half of soccer as it is around 518 here in the Houston area As both teams are ready, ball at midfield, and it looks like Katie FC will kick this one. And we are underway. Katie 1895 in possession. And both teams fighting for the ball on the left side of the field and out of bounds. And in favor, Katie 1895. And ball back in play and out of bounds. And a ball in favor of the Coyotes. And Katie gets it back. On Coyote side of the field, they have numbers. And here's a kick up the middle. And that's just going to go out of bounds. And ball will probably be in favor of KD 1895. And here the inbound from the right corner. And Coyotes bounce it up. Katie able to regain possession as they'll set up on Coyote's side of the field. And that ball will go out of bounds in favor of Katie. Ball down the field, here comes Katie. Little step back. And ball out of bounds. Katie with the ball inside the box. And he's shooting outside to the left. And it'll be in favor of the Coyotes. And here's a kick down the field, Katie's side. 
And it's going to kick it. going to be outside to the left of the goal. And ball back in possession of Katie. And the Coyotes will reset on their side of the field. And player knocked down and ball in favor of the Coyotes. And 40 minutes left in the, the final half of the game. And here comes Katie down the field. They have numbers. And the Coyotes get it back. Ball deflected by Katie. Back down the field. Bounced up. Here comes Katie. And out of bounds. And ball in possession of the Coyotes. in favor of Katie as the player was knocked down and here come the Coyotes passes to the right side to midfield and ball out of bounds back in favor of the Coyotes. And Katie just going to let the ball go out of bounds. back the other way and uh, Katie gets it back going down the right side of the field a little crossover right there and here's the kick it just hits the crossbar just missing another goal for Katie just too high and Katie gets it back And out of bounds back in favor of the Coyotes. And ball back in the air. And out of bounds again. And 
here comes Katie going the other way. Kicks it backwards and then over to midfield and out of bounds. And a ball back in favor of the Coyotes. it back. And ball back in possession of the Coyotes in Katie territory. Bounce going back the other way in favor of the Coyotes. And Katie going down the field. Little bounce kick inside the box where it's picked up by the Coyotes goalie. And here come the Coyotes down the field. Able to get it to the left side of the box. Number 23 has it. Try to get close to that goal. And bounces it up right to the goalie. And it'll be KD Ball. And here comes Katie. They have numbers. Here we go. One versus one. Gets past the goalie. And he's going to score. And Katie's going to take a 2-0 lead. And it looks like they're going to call an offsides. And it is indeed an offsides call. And it will still be 1-0. And no score, and it's still 1-0, Katie. 32 minutes left in the game. And here comes the Coyote right back down the field. Tough break for Katie 1895 as they could have had a 2-0 lead. Balls at the left side of the field. Coyotes kick it back. Back to midfield. And going to pass it back to the inside of the left side. Right in the middle of the field. Now in the box. And he shoots and he scores. And we're all tied up at 1-1. Thirty thirty one minutes left in the game. All tied up at one. And just a few minutes ago could have been a two-nil game for Katie eighteen ninety-five and
comes back to haunt him on the offsides play and we're all tied up at one. And Paul placed back at midfield. KD Paul. And going down the field and trips over and Paul back in possession of Katie as we were about to reach the 30 minute mark left in the game all tied up at one as we hope you're watching here on Five Live presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors We got a free kick here. Katie going to try to kick it right up the middle, try to reach that goal. number eight on the Awenye will kick this one and he's just gonna miss it and that's gonna go in for a KD score look like it was gonna go all the way to the right but able to hit that right side of the goal and bounces in and it's now 2-1 KD 1895 after the goal by Oni Awenye As both teams will go back to midfield. 28 minutes left in the game. And it's going to be 2 to 1, Katie. And still no update on the scoreboard. Pass number nine, Patrick Starr comes in. Or excuse me, Patrick Sarr. And number 17, Palelo Maloko comes out. And here comes the Coyote down the field. And I'll be out of bounds. As it's number 19, Taylor Fletcher in the game. As KD leads it 2 to 1. And high kick to the left side. And a player knocked down for the Coyotes. As he'll be fine, he gets back up. Sets so number 18. And number 24 will kick it in for the Coyotes. And here's a kick into the box. And what a save by the KD goalie as I go out of bounds, so in favor of the Coyotes. As number 18 will kick it in. And 
And up the middle. Tries to knock it in, but way over the crossbar. And it'll be KD football. Pass number 17 will come in. As I'll be Palelo Maloko. And here's the KD kick right up midfield into Coyote territory and right back into KD territory. And KD fighting for the ball, and now it's going to stay just inbounds. Here comes the Coyotes. And ball right back to Katie. Here comes Dobbs down the field. Number 15, Houston. On the left corner of that box. And here's a kick. And the Coyotes just able to save it. Back in possession and Katie gets it back. And ball in possession of the Coyotes. Pass number 21 will come in for the Coyotes. And number 7 Dodds comes in as he checks out for K. Coyotes bringing it back down the field. 2-1 KD lead. And KD able to get it back. Some moves by the KD player right there. That's that's Fletcher. But here come the Coyotes down the field. Gonna roll right to the KD goalie. And it's gonna kick that one to number six. As that's Shav Kapoor. And Coyote territory. Only when he has it. Gets past a couple defenders, pass it to number three. That's a Brave. And kicks him one all the way to the left side. And back in possession of the Coyotes. And KD1895 able to regain possession. And right side of the corner of the box, number 10 has it. Gets past a couple defenders. Gets it to number 8. It just misses and almost gets another goal again. Two missed opportunities by Katie as the first kick hit the left side of the crossbar. And the player goes down for the Coyotes and it'll be Coyotes ball. And after the miss on the left side of the bar, just able just misses punching it in with the head. And here comes the Coyotes. And Katie kicks it back to the Coyote side of the field. And they will reset.
Coyotes in the box. Trying to make some room to score. And Katie gets it back as they go down the field. And here comes Katie at midfield and knocked down. And ball in possession of Katie. And with 20 minutes left here in the second half, Katie leads it 2 to 1 over the Coyotes. And some pause in play here. Yes, O'Neill Winye is down. Yeah, we hope he's okay. And still down on the ground. And he's able to come up on his own power. And good to see only a winning up okay. Nineteen minutes left in the game. Or in soccer terms. Nineteen minutes left in the match. We are ready to resume play. KD Ball. And here's a kick in the Coyote territory. Katie trying to drive down into the box, trying to make some room to set the score. And ball to the right side, outside. And the goalie for the Coyotes throws it out. And Coyotes trying to bring it into Katie territory. Down the right side of the field. Goes left. Katie gets it back. And a scramble for the ball. And back in possession of the Coyotes. Gets it past the defender. Number 23 trying to get there. And knocked down by a KD defender. And here comes KD down the field. And KD at midfield. Back in Coyote territory. 17 minutes left in the half. Here comes O'Neill Winhey. And number 12 on the right side, just outside of the box, stays in bounds. Here's number three, Abreu. Trying to set up position for Katie. Strategy. Get some opening near the box. And at the left side of the field. And it'll be Coyote Ball. And gets the ball down the field. Here's number 23. Tries to shoot, but saved by the KD goalie. And he'll toss it back out. Yeah, 
it looks like one of the Katy players got cramps on the field. As it is a hot, sunny day here in Katy, Texas. A little bit of breeze. As the match clock is still ticking, under 15 minutes left, as Katie leads it 2 to 1 over to the Coyotes. And as number 19 will come in for the Coyotes, and number 20 will come in for Katie. As the official comes back onto the field, it'll be Katie Ball. Under 14 minutes left before the end of the match. And goalie kicks it to a brave. Back to Onia Winye. And ball back in possession of the Coyotes. And Padilla able to save it for Katie. And here come the Coyotes down the field and he shoots and he scores and we're all tied up at two. Thirteen minutes left in the match and the Coyotes tied up. That goal was by number 17 for the Coyotes. And Katie quickly trying to get it back onto the Coyote side of the field and then goes out of bounds and ball back in favor of the Coyotes. And the Coyotes were reset. Looking to take their first lead of the game. Here comes the Coyotes down the field. Number 14, covered by multiple defenders. Aspadia gets it back for Katie. And gonna kick it back to midfield. Katie gets it across midfield. O'Neill Winnie has it. And back to number 17 of the Coyotes. And on the right side of the field, a little back kick. Back towards the middle of the field and to the left side in Katie territory. And inside the box and out of bounds and in favor of the Coyotes. And 
and kick up the middle and it goes backwards back in favor of Katie and only a win hey crossing midfield and it's gonna hold it passes it to the left side trying to make something happen here comes Katie they got numbers and he shoots and he's gonna score and Katie takes a 3-2 lead and a couple scores within the last few minutes as the Coyotes tied it up now Katie takes a 3-2 lead under 10 minutes left and two goals within the last three to four minutes and Katie regains the lead Coyote ball after the KD score. Bringing it down the field up the middle. Number 19 has it. Passing it over to the left side of the box. Trying to make some room. And KD kicks it out of bounds. Still in possession of the Coyotes. Number 23 will kick it in. Will actually throw it in. And backwards kick. Picked up by Padilla, the goalie for Katie. And he'll throw it back out. And just going to kick it past midfield. And Coyotes regain possession. Trying to keep it in bounds. And Katie will kick it out. As we are entering the final minutes of the match. As Katie leads it 3-2. to two. After scoring a goal just under the 10 minute mark. Here's a throw in by the Coyotes. Right side of the box. Trying to make something happen. Right up the middle but Katie kicks it back out. Coyotes, one of the players almost tried to do a bicycle kick. And here comes Katie right the middle. And it's going to try to shoot him. It goes way to the right side and out of bounds. And it looks like ball will be in favor of the Coyotes. Seven minutes left in the match. Only a win will kick it out. And it's in Coyote territory. Here's a kick up the box. Here's the punch in to outside left. It'll be Coyote's football. field. Coyote's trying to make something happen with it. As Katie keeps it in bounds. And the goalie, Padilla, will kick it back to midfield. And it'll be out of bounds in favor of the Coyotes. Seven has it for the Coyotes. Kicks it 
up the middle. And Katie kicks it back. At midfield. Player goes down, no call. And Coyote's trying to make something happen. Trying to set up a play. Trying to tie this game up. And gets it to the left side, number 17. He scored a tying goal earlier. And ball will go out of bounds in favor of the Coyotes. Under five minutes left in the match. And he's going to throw it in down the middle. And Katie will save it. Just going to throw it back out. Defender coming at Onia Winnie. Back to Onia Winnie down the field. And inside the box, Katie trying to get in position. And he shorts it and misses to the right side. And I believe that was number 10. That's Christian Coburn. Misses to the right side on that shoot. And number 17, bringing it down for the Coyotes. And number 19 has some numbers, trying to make some moves. And Katie gets it back, and just going to kick it out of bounds. Ball back in favor of the Coyotes. Under four minutes left in the match. As he throws it back in at number 24. Down the middle. Tries to shoot it through a couple defenders, but blocked. Coyote still have it. And tries to shoot it down the middle. And out of bounds. And Ball back in favor of KD 1895 as we have reached the three minute point in the match. And a player down for KD 1895. And as the clock keeps running. That's a brave is down for Katie. And able to get back on his feet. Shake off a couple cramps in this heat. And we'll be back underway here in Katie, Texas. Here at the British International School of Houston. And Katie. We'll throw it back in. And as the clock has stopped at two minutes left in the match. And here we go. Number 17 with the ball for the Coyotes. Tries to get past a couple defenders. KD gets it back, takes it down the field. Sonia Winye trying to split through a couple defenders and gets tripped. And ball will be in favor of KD. Neil Winnie is down for Katie. And with the scoreboard not running, not sure how much time is left in the match. 
Yeah, so there's just under a couple of minutes left. As yeah, so we're going down to the wire here in Katy, Texas, as it's 3 2 Katy over the Coyotes. Yeah, it looks like this will be a free kick for Onya Winye. All players for both teams on the top of the box, mostly for the Coyotes. Here's the free kick. And he shoots and just misses the right side. And it'll be Katie Ball. And here we go. Getting down to the nitty gritty. Katie leads 3 2. And here comes the Coyotes on Katie's side of the field. And able to punch it back to midfield is Katie. Coyotes regain possession in the middle of the field, just in front of the box. And Coyotes have some numbers, trying to get it past a couple defenders, and Katie able to nab it back. And here comes Katie. Got some numbers, trying to set up for a score, and just going to kick it back. Limited time left with a little bit of extra time. And Abreu trying to nab it, and it goes out of bounds in favor of the Coyotes. to throw it in. And six more minutes of extra time left in the game. As ball will go in favor of the Coyotes. As we are now in extra time. Coyotes will kick it in, down the middle, tries to score, goes over the crossbar, and attempt to tie the game. And possession will go back in favor of Katie. As we are in extra time. And Badia will kick it back out. Field. And Coyotes regain possession. And both teams trying to fight for the ball, just a one goal game. And Coyotes trying to set up to tie the game. And Katie gets it back, takes it down the middle of the field to number 12. Out of bounds and in favor of the Coyotes. And the Coyotes throw it in. Left side of the field. Number 27 has it. Number 26 and kicks it up the middle and right to the KD goalie. That's Medea. And yeah, gonna take some time to kick this one out. As we are in extra time before the, the match ends. Back to midfield. KD possession. That's number 10, Coburn. And trying to fake out a couple defenders, putting some moves on them. 
And possession back to Katie. right back across the Katy side of the field. And here comes the Coyotes before it gets out of bounds. And it will. And back. It looks like in favor of the Coyotes. Katie Goley throws it back out. And down the field. Here comes Katie. They got some numbers. Trying to prevent an offsides and kicks it over the crossbar. And out of bounds in favor of the Coyotes. Had a chance to double the lead. And just limited minutes left in the match. Katie still leads it 3 to 2. Bring it back out. And two minutes left in the match. And out of bounds in favor of Katie. Under two minutes left in the match. Odie's trying to nab it back, but back in favor of Katie. And a huge fight for the ball. And just going to go out of bounds again in favor of Katie. As Coyote's not letting up. With limited time. And I'm sure around under a minute now. Katie using up the time. Going to kick it from the left side corner. On the Coyote side of the field. And ball in play. Katie trying to play keep away. Here comes the Coyotes. Trying to tie this game up. Here comes the Coyotes. And Katie throws it in. And that's the match. And Katie will win this game with a score of 3 to 2 over the Coyotes. As it's been an excellent match for both teams. And a beautiful day here in Katy, Texas, here at the British International School of Houston. As it's been a great match in the MPSL. And as I'm Justin Barbosa, and we thank you for listening to Vibe Live along with my producer, Enrique Rodriguez. As what the final score for tonight's game. Is Katie 1895 FC3 and the Coyotes FC2. As we hope you have a great evening, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. As this is Vibe Live presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors.